गुड इवनिंग डे स्टूडेंट आई एम राजेश एंड यू आर वॉचिंग लर्निंग एस एस विद राजेश यूट्यूब चैनल डी स्टूडेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू स्कोर हंड्रेड बाई हंड्रेड इन एस एस टी सी बी एस सी एग्जाम सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट टेन ईजी स्टेप टू फॉलो विच कैन हेल्प यू टू गेट हंड्रेड बाई हंड्रेड सो फर्स्ट स्टेप टू बी फॉलोड बाई यू इज focus on ncert book and you can read it line by line with the help of your teacher or yourself as you know your teacher read for you it in your school and after that you can read it again and again to understand the matter easily so first step is to be followed by you to focus on ncert book it's must for you nextly step number 2 is solve a previous year question paper so previous year question paper help you to find out in which part or in which history part or in geography part in which part you are lacking and your strength is in which part you are strengthening day by day so that's why focus on solved on previous year question paper and you can find your difficulties also in which part you are finding difficulty and you can discuss it with your teacher and next step number 3 replicate examination conditions at home for practice it means make a three hard sitting plan at home whether there is a sunday or holiday from your school and make a plan for a replicate your examination conditions so let's have a previous year question paper and try to solve it at home as you are going to face examination and next is step number 4 neat and clean point wise method you know that in cbsc exams when there is a three marks question you can write three lines or three points and there will be five marks question you can write five points at least five points and at least three points you can write more also but three and five in three marks question three points are necessary and in five marks in five point five points are must i hope you got this step also next is step number 5 using of heading for long answer or whatever applicable for example here is a question for you to describe about various groups or various society who take part in non cooperation movement it's the question in five marks you can write about the first uh, part of our society like peasants like tribal people and number of also scholars and teachers and tradesmen and you can write heading firstly it will take uh, it will benefited you and there will be impression on your examiner that you know better and nextly step number 6 is practice answer writing before board exam practice answer writing before board exam one month before you can write practice 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 makes a man perfect you know and you can ask question from your teacher and you can get a refresher also but please focus on ncert there are too much question in ncert and you can make your questions also and with help of your teacher practice of answer writing is must it will help you to write answer in exam otherwise uh, there will be question in exam and you will think and think and it will waste your time and next writing answer will boost your confidence you know that when you practice your writing of answer it will boost your confidence that i am 100% sure that i will get 100 by 100 in ssc 
and next write dates in history while not asked if dates are not asked you can write dates also in history it will give impression on your teacher or examiner that a student knows very well about steps or about the things but don't write wrong one if dates are not asked but don't write the wrong one because examiner circle on them fastly i hope you understand this step also and next is objectives answers to the point you have to write objective answer to the point in one mark question objective type question write one line or maximum two line or in a one word extra writing will waste your time and map work for map work you know that in history only some lesson or lesson number 1 2 is there or specific subject or map work is there but in geography there are different topics included in map work you have to practice it at home for example you are practicing for rivers and forest and wildlife you have to practice it it will make you confident and the last one read ncert for better result many times don't read many books but read ncert many times it will help you to get 100 by 100 in sst so you need not to afraid of sst subject if you will follow these 11 steps near about 10 steps i hope you got all the points and i hope for a better result in sst thank you and if you are new on my youtube channel please subscribe the channel like and share also thank you and have a nice day